Hi all, so uh, we moved on to chemo session two um, and following chemo session two, as many of you will know, was the hottest day of the year. So with chemo, you tend to get quite hot. So I keep saying to Karina, can you feel my head? Can you feel my head? She's like, no, you're not hot, you're not hot. But my head feels like it's just burning from, from bottom to top. Um, so surviving chemo, uh, day one after chemo on the hottest day of the year was something different. So this is the survival technique that I had. I know it's naughty, it's got sugar, and many people will tell you how bad sugar is, but you know what, it's the only thing I could stomach. So Lucasade, um, all credits and percentages back to me, please Lucasade, but that's been keeping me going. And my, my bowler hat managed to keep me cool, um, along with uh, just loads and loads of iced water. If you've got family that are going through this, iced water, iced water, iced water, lots of sips of iced water and small snacks. I found um, the flat peaches, they're lovely and grapes. Um, it's just the coolness on your throat because the chemo, um, it kills everything. And it's the effects it's had on me is a really, really sore throat. The first session, I lost my voice. As you know, the kids were delighted. The second session, it just so sore. So it's a quiet week, the week after chemo. But uh, as I say, hottest day, we survived. Hurrah. Um, and I'll keep you updated. Hope you well. Bye.